friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a very hard cataract cataracta nigra or black cataract in this case i was hesitant to do fake emulsification and i have planned double sics double sics means two sics wounds 5 mm each are placed side by side and one suture is applied joining these two sics wounds this is about 10 mm and i am doing conjunctival peritomy in this case there is very thin tenons tissue and i can take tenons and conjunctiva together in some cases the tenons is so thick that you have to dissect it as a separate layer but in this case it was not so and now bipolar wet field cautery is done very mild cautery is done care is taken not to cause any contraction of the surface of the sclera there should not be any charring of the surface of the sclera now this is 5 mm and i am placing two 5 mm incisions this is one and this is another one so exact 5 mm incisions being placed side by side now see this is the first sics wound and this is the second sics there are two advantages of this kind of incisions number 1 dissection is very easy because it is close to the limbus and number 2 astigmatism induced will be very less because we are going to put a suture joining these two sics wounds that is at the apex of this v shaped incision and there will be no sagging of the anterior wall of the wound at this moment sclerocorneal tunnel is being done the crescent blade goes into clear cornea and it is swept to the left and backward a very nice corneal valve is prepared so that it becomes a self sealing wound and just to reduce the astigmatism you are going to put the suture and now a uh, stab incision is made at around 9 o'clock or 8:45 o'clock with this keratome the size of this paracentesis is about 1.8 mm and now the anterior capsule is being stained with trypan blue dye we will get some contrast if we stain the anterior capsule with trypan blue dye this is a bit of adrenaline this may help in keeping the people dilated during surgery the dye is washed out 
and now 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected into the anterior chamber. And now with the help of a 26 gauge bent needle, capsulorexis is being done. Since the nucleus is huge, we need to do a large rexis. With the needle, the rexis can be done very well except in intumescent cataracts. Intumescent cataracts, in intumescent cataracts, it is always better to use a uterator forceps or vitreous micro forceps. This is a good size of the capsulorexis. And now the sclerocorneal tunnel is opened in the anterior chamber. Yes cut when you go forward. So this is a very nice corneal valve and we will need only one suture just to prevent sagging of the anterior wall of this sclerocorneal tunnel. Hydrodissection has caused prolapse of most of the nucleus apart still in the capsular bag and now I am using this instrument this is a Sinsky hook just rotated the nucleus and it has come out of the bag and now I inject visco in front as well as behind the nucleus and I am going to use irrigating vectors to deliver the nucleus. Let us see how huge is the nucleus. The 10 millimeter wound was fully occupied by this nucleus. Little bit of epinucleus can be removed by this irrigating vectus itself. And now I take a 23 gauze Simco cannula, irrigate the cortex that is sticking to the cornea to improve visibility. And then I start aspirating the cortex. The sub side port cortex is removed first and then the cortex from 6 o'clock is removed. The rest of the cortex we can remove going through the side port. It is done. So this is a very satisfactory cleaning of cortex. Some cells are sticking to the posterior capsule at 1 o'clock. That is removed. And now, intraocular lens is to be implanted. In this case, we have selected a 
sensor multipase intraocular lens. This is an irrigating probe to polish the posterior capsule. Just by irrigation, we can nicely polish the posterior capsule. No aspiration. And we can call this hydro polish, polishing by ringer lactate or BSS. And now the capsular bag and the anterior chamber are filled up with 2% SPMC and the selected sensor multipase intraocular lens is being implanted in the capsular bag. The leading haptic goes into the capsular bag and the trailing haptic also goes into the capsular bag. We are having some post-op pictures, so stay tuned to see the post-op pictures after 18 to 20 hours. The lens is nicely centered in the capsular bag. And now one suture is to be put at the apex of this V-shaped incision or at the junction of the two SICS wounds. This is 10 O nylon suture and this is from Aurolab, India. Here it is the just one suture and such a large wound. But the thing is, we have done a very good sclerocorneal tunnel and a very good corneal valve. So, just one suture is enough. We must not make it very tight must not make it very loose, just the opposition of the wound, opposition of the lips of this wound should be very good. And now the threads are trimmed. And now this is a releasable suture on the right end of the peritomy. This is because there is a radial cut. The knot is buried here. And now the visco from anterior chamber as well as from the capsular bag is removed thoroughly. This is a 23 gauze Simco. This is the Simco is in anterior chamber. We must spend some quality time for removal of Visco. This is very important because of two reasons. Visco induced TAS is known, toxic anterior segment syndrome, because of Visco is a known entity. And Visco can, retained Visco can cause steamy corneal edema. So 
we must remove the visco very nicely now this is a releasable suture and now I am place uh, injecting gentamicin and dexamethasone and creating chemosis and this will push the conjunctiva to the limbus and now let us see some post-op pictures see the cornea is crystal clear there is no corneal edema anywhere antichamber is quiet pupil is round conjunctiva is nicely opposed to the limbus unaided vision is 6 by 12 thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills in managing rock hard cataracts where you may think that doing FECO will cause endothelial decompensation. In those cases, this is a very good option to restore vision.